Welcome to Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, let's understand the concept of acids, bases and salts. Ever wondered what is common in an orange, apple, vinegar, tamarind, etc? Yes, you're right if you said they are acidic in nature. But how do you know that these are acidic? Did you say from their taste? Yes, taste is an important characteristic which is linked to the chemical properties of a substance. Now let us explore what is an acid. The term acid is derived from the Latin word acidus which means sour. Do you know the characteristics of an acid? Let me explain. The most common characteristic of an acid is its sour taste. An acid is a substance which yields a hydrogen ion when dissolved in water. The amount of hydrogen ions present in a solution is used as a measure of the acidity of a substance. The higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, the more acidic the solution and the lower its pH. The pH of an acid is less than 7. Do you know what is pH? Well, pH is a scale used to specify the acidity or basicity of a solution. It indicates the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution. Acid turns blue litmus paper to red. So what is litmus paper? And why are we using this? Litmus paper is an indicator which shows whether a solution is an acid. Based on their occurrence, acids are divided into two types, organic and mineral acids. Organic acids are obtained from natural sources such as fruits and animal products. For example, lactic acid in milk products, tartaric acid in tamarind, malic acid in apples, methanoic or formic acid in ants and nettle stings, etc. Mineral acids are acids prepared from minerals. Carbonic acid in fizzy soft drinks, Sulfuric acid in car batteries, paints, etc. are all examples of mineral acids. Now let us talk about soap water. What nature does it have? Well, it is basic in nature, which means soap is a base. Let us understand the characteristics of a base. The most common characteristic of a base is their bitter taste and a soapy feel. A base is a substance which yields a hydroxide ion when it is dissolved in water. The higher the concentration of hydroxide ions, the more basic the solution and higher its pH. The pH of bases is more than 7. Bases turn the color of red litmus paper to blue. The best examples of bases include baking soda, washing soda, quick lime, etc. Let us quickly recap the differences between an acid and a base. An acid is sour to taste whereas a base tastes bitter and has a soapy feel. An acid yields a hydrogen ion and a base yields a hydroxide ion when dissolved in water. An acid turns blue litmus paper red, whereas a base turns red litmus paper blue. The pH of an acid is less than 7, whereas the pH of a base is more than 7. This was acids and bases in general. Now can you tell me what will happen if an acid and a base come together? Let me cite an example. If we mix a strong acid like hydrochloric acid with a strong base like sodium hydroxide, the reaction yields sodium chloride and water. Sodium chloride is common salt. 
so an acid reacts with a base to give salt and water this is a generalized reaction called the neutralization reaction hence we can see here that salts are the products of a reaction between an acid and a base